Well, joining us live now via Skype from Denver in the U.S. state of Colorado is Nadir Hashmi. He's director of the Center for Middle East Studies at the University of uh, Denver. Mr. Hashmi, very good to have you with us on Al Jazeera. So what is the Syrian government doing, continuing its military offensive against the opposition on the ground uh, and then allowing for the delivery of U.N. aid, as we saw on Tuesday? Well, I think it's carefully playing its cards. It's um, um, giving concessions when it absolutely has to, but fundamentally it's trying to uh, rewrite uh, the rules of this um, um, so-called peace process by creating facts on the ground supported by Russia to enhance its bargaining position. It's been doing that really from um, the very beginning of the uh, peace uh, process in Syria. And I'm referring to the exercise that took place um, approximately two years ago in January 2014 mm -hmm. when they did the exact same thing in the lead up to the negotiations. They increased it. They increased their, 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 their bombing of um, rebel positions, barrel bombs, um, attacks on civilians. And so this is is uh, something that we've seen before. Is the concession that uh, they've made, their most recent concession, uh, will that be enough to move the talks forward in any way? I mean, the opposition has been saying that they can't begin in good faith until the regime lifts seizure, seizures, allows for humanitarian aid. We have seen the regime do that on Tuesday. It was very um, non-representative of the policies that the Assad regime is pursuing. I, I, I suspect they did that simply for propaganda reasons, to say that, look, they are giving concessions, when everyone knows that in towns such as uh, Madaya, there are people who are starving to death. Um, there are hundreds of uh, thousands of uh, political prisoners who are um, suffering in Syrian jails. And, of course, the military attacks are, are continuing, as we've, as we've been seeing recently um, um, uh, across Syria. So I suspect this is a very carefully calculated um, political plan to um, prevent the international community from blaming uh, the Syrian regime. Um, um, and so they're giving these sort of very token symbolic um, um, concessions while um, tightening the sieges, continuing the sieges um, uh, across Syria and also stepping up their land offensive, um, of course, supported by Russian uh, policy and, and bombardment. Um, so I think this is a very carefully orchestrated um, you know, political game that the Syrian regime is playing. And of course, there's no one that's willing to stand up to them militarily um, in the international community. And until that, that happens, um, Russia and the Assad regime will continue down the path that they have been traveling. So what would it take then for the Syrian regime and Russia to really be invested in the talks? Or is it what you just said until they have an international power that will stand up to them militarily so that they no longer have the upper hand militarily on the ground? Well, they have no reason to be invested in the talks, to give any concessions in the talks, because fundamentally the talks um, um, rooted in the um, um, UN Security Council resolution that was passed on December the 18th calls for a political transition in Syria. I mean, that's fundamentally what this conflict is about. That's something that the uh, Syrian regime, of course, does not want to discuss them, I and they haven't come to Geneva to unilaterally negotiate their own removal from power. So, um, given that fact, they are doing everything possible to delay a serious discussion about core issues that are at the root of the conflict in Syria, and they're trying to uh, take advantage, exploit um, um, opportunities um, to advance territorial gains so that if ever we get to serious negotiations, they will be in a stronger bargaining position. Now, Nadir Hashmi, Director of the Centre for Middle East Studies at the University of Denver, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. Let's move on to other news now. In the